Hello again. <clears throat> I just thought after my last video about the battery modification where you run the lead through the side of the quad, I've had people ask me about how to take the top off um, and it's quite a reasonable question because um, there are a few issues with that. Now if I turn this one over you can see the uh, screws here. There's one there, one there, one there and one there. They're Allen bolts and you want something like this, so about 2 mil, and you want a long one like that, preferably a little ball end allen key and a screwdriver uh, for this one here. Now whatever you do, don't undo these because they will remove the motor. They're holding the actual motors in there and you don't want to take those out because the, the lid, or the top, will come off quite easily um, with the motors in place. Okay. Now the other thing I want to mention is this is your compass. It's a biometric compass and um, what that does is tell north, south, east, west obviously because it is a compass but you want to be very very careful um, that any tools you're using are not magnetic and you can test that with a little pin you know just to make sure it's not magnetic and the other thing is a lot of people use these um, to keep their their screws in place. A little magnetic tray. I, I personally wouldn't do that because I would keep all the magnets well away from this because you'll end up having to reprogram it and redo it. And um, that's done in the DJI instructions, but it's it's a bit of an awkward thing. You don't want to do that. So um, the other thing is you might find if you're worried about that is take the tape off that they gave you and take this leg off with the four screws that you, when you first got it, just unplug the compass, um, just pull that one out, and uh, then you can put it back when you're finished, because then it'll be well away from, from what you're working, because if you've got magnetic screwdrivers, which they will get magnetic after a few years of use, um, you'll probably find that uh, you end up in trouble, so I'll just plug that back in. That's the other thing I wanted to mention is magnetism. Stay away from this little thing here. That's your aerial, that's not a problem, it's just the compass you want to be very careful of. And when you take the lid off, the other thing I wanted to go into detail is this is your um, GPS module. It's directly below the, the, the top, so if you put any accessories or anything like that, cameras, whatever, don't stick them on top. Not worth it because the GPS system will be totally messed up and uh, also your, your wires that come in like that. Um, you can unplug them if you want to but it's not really worth it, they're long enough to do whatever you want to do on the uh, on the main internals. Um, that's about it really. Um, I hope that was uh, that's explained it because um, if you do um, have a problem um, with the top it will generally be just where it's plastic and it moves around a little bit but those are the screws, it's that one there, that one there, that one there, and the screw there. These are Allen bolts. Uh, they go straight into metal as well. Um, if you look there, you can see they go straight into metal, which is really good. I'm very impressed with that, because normally they just go straight into plastic, and then after a couple of times, they're, they're no good. But that's what gives us this um, good reputation, the way it's built. Uh, the motors, if you want to upgrade them, you can change them, and those are the... Those are the four bolts, uh, four Allen bolts there. Don't touch those when you're taking the top off, just leave them in. And uh, the other thing is don't use any sort of Loctite or anything like that on the screws because um, they don't recommend it. I don't use it, no real point. Um, you're not going to fly for that long, so you just check them to make sure they're tight when they're done. Okay, so that's how you take the top off. I hope that's helped anyway. Uh, don't forget my forum, uh, multibladehelicopters.com. Uh, if you get any, any questions or anything like that, just go on the forum, ask the questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.